Hi there guys, it's Livy Boy 2603 here and welcome to Football's a Pitch episode 48. Tonight Livingston welcome Inverness, Caledonian and Thistle to the Tony Macri Arena. Now for Inverness this is a huge game because if Inverness fail to get the three points tonight, they will be staying in the Scottish Championship next season. Playoffs is impossible for them to reach. Now Inverness have done well to get themselves in this position because just a month and a half ago people were joking Inverness might go down but since winning the Challenge Cup against them, Barton they've just went on a winning spree and they find themselves in this position. As for Livingston, tonight's game means absolutely nothing. We've already secured second place, which by the way, I do suggest you go and check out that video. That game was unbelievable. The, just the feelings, the emotions in that game was unreal. But Livingston have secured second, so pretty much whatever happens in tonight's game against Inverness and Saturday's game away to Dundee United, it doesn't really matter. We're second. But still, the team are going to want to win and I will want the team to win as well. Now, not anymore, but historically, Livingston and Inverness is a massive game because... Inverness and Livingston did enter the leagues at the exact same time, so there's a bit of rivalry between Livingston and Inverness. It's not as present in modern day, but it's still quite a big rivalry. So, what's going to happen now that I've looked at all these things? I think Livingston are going to edge Inverness 2-1. I don't think Livingston are like, we're not going to just sit back and not play because we've already secured second, but having said that, Cali have been quite a good team this season, so tonight is going to be a very interesting game, and I do hope it's a really entertaining game, not just a boring 0-0 midweek game. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Come on Livingston, let's get the three points tonight. How do you feel to be nominated for the PFA Awards? Oh, it's brilliant, yeah. A good nomination, I think, for a defender as well, so it's a good time. You deserve a good luck. I'm in the box. You tell it to say no. I know I don't normally have voiceovers in these types of videos, but at this point Cali had just kicked off the second half. Now, normally nothing happens right at the start of the second half, so what happened next sort of caught me off guard. That's why the camera work isn't as good as it normally is, but yeah, Cali did go and attack here, and it was good football played by them, but I'll just let the rest of this clip roll on. Oh. Okay, da. So, are they going to go all out defence now? Aye. Go. 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 Yeah, I 
Well guys, Cali bet Livingston 1-0. I need to say I'm not even bothered, I'm not even going to lie. I mean, tonight Livingston didn't even have their full team out and I'm, I know you're going to say, oh you're just making excuses. I'm genuinely not. Look, with the exception of Gallagher, Longridge, De Vita and Hardy, we pretty much started out with players that are not like quality, but players that would be rotational players in the squad. And at the end of the day, when you're second and you've already secured second, it doesn't really matter. Tonight's game meant nothing. As for Cali Fissel, you can tell during the game that Cali wanted it more than Livingston did, that's why they won. But for a team that really needed the three points tonight, Cali, they, they just didn't look the part. And I, like, make it that what you will, but they wanted to get, they wanted the win more than Livingston did, of course. But like, it was weird tonight. It was a really weird game. And I think it's the first time in all the years I've been going to Livingston that the way team has scored and not one Levy fan seemed too bothered about it. It probably does reflect the way that the game went. Now, you'll notice it probably looked a bad game. It wasn't a bad game, but a lot of the, uh, the like action didn't really come to much. You know what I mean? Like There wasn't a lot of shots in the game, but a lot of the action happened in the midfield and lots of the action just stuff that I would never put in the vlog on a normal day. But, yeah, now, unfortunately for Livingston, that was our f last home game of the season. A tiny bit disappointed to be going out in a defeat. But we still have playoffs and we might have a sneaky away day to Tannen nice Nights on Saturday. You'll look forward to that one. I'm looking forward to that one. But yeah, I mean, I'm not baller. I mean, well done, Cali. But it just means that Cali Morton and Delfermond and Barton is going to be a massive game at the weekend. I mean, our game against United means nothing. But it's going to be a massive game for Delfermond, Dumbarton and Cali Morton. What's going to happen in the playoffs? Who would I personally like to play? I'm not going to tell you because it's going to come back and bite me. But... We've just got to take the playoffs as they come. If we get Cali, we, we need to play Cali over two legs. We get them firmly and get United. We're going to need to play them over two legs. If we get past them, we're going to need to play Partick, Hamilton, Dundee, um, Ross County, and St. Johnson or Mullerwell if something goes drastically along. We shouldn't be playing St. Johnson or Mullerwell, but we're just going to need to take the playoffs and the rest of this season as it comes. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for the support this season and all the home videos. Please don't forget to leave a like. Do subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.